My name is TJ Rogers and I'm taking you on a journey across Canada to meet the people pushing skateboarding in my home country. Let's get it cracking. We're traveling to a small town north of Montreal, Quebec to check out the skateboard ranch. We're going to meet with Marianne at the Girls Gays and Days session. I heard Marianne created a really cool environment for people to feel safe and just have fun on their board. I'm hyped to check this out. But first, we stop at the new St. Jerome skate park to link up with one of the most creative skateboarders and musician extraordinaire, Alexi Lacroix. Pulling up right now in the van. Oh, yeah! Brother. Yeah, my dude. How are you? Good and you. Good, good yeah. to see you. Damn, big squad. That was, that was dope. Thanks, man. Holding on there. Yeah, so Manny Mania. Yeah, <laughs> literally. <laughs> well, it started to rain. I guess the session's done a little early today. We're off to the skate ranch next. Let's camping, have a little fire. It's about a two hour drive from Saint Jerome. Let's go. All right, so we made it to the skateboard ranch. We're out here in the middle of nowhere in Quebec. We're gonna have a barbecue, We're gonna go skate the mini ramp soon, hang out, have some good vibes, play some music. I looked for a place for about two years. I was looking closer to Montreal at first, but you know, it was like totally out of my budget and it was hard to find like a big land to be able to, you know, be able to expand and I ended up uh, moving to Naminang. How big is your property? It's under it? eight acres. Okay. So it's around five million square feet. Holy. That's huge. Yeah, yeah. that's massive. That's so much food to barbecue. I love cooking for people too, so I'm excited to like grill down and kick it with the homies and vibe out. I got everything. Skate ranch, let's go. Wow, that's respect. Smooth as It's incredible. I don't think I've seen a better mini ramp, especially out in the wild like this. Of course, you got the mascot right here. What's up, Doogie? <laughs> so how long did it take? Excluding the prep, two months for forms, pours, and everything. Since the first stake in the ground, it was about two months. One of the hardest things was like realizing the amount of work that was needed to do what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. At first, I was like, it's, easy, it's so easy to just say, oh, we're going to do this. But then, you know, OK, I got to remove the stumps, bring in some gravel, bring in some sand, you know, redo the, the trail. And sometimes, you know, you work, you work, you work. It feels like you're not accomplishing anything. But after a while, you look back, it's like, man, it used to be so different. 
Before we couldn't even walk to the forest. Now they, the, the trail is nice. You've definitely put in a lot of work here, and it's oh, amazing. So to see. many hours, man. It's amazing <laughs> to see. Grabbing wood for the fire. Gonna grab the rest of the meat inside to barbecue. I'm looking forward to this. Back to nature. Yeah, here, baby. Skate ranch. Let's get it cracking. For the past like 10 years, I was really involved in Montreal at P45. It's uh, Montreal's DIY skate park. You know, that's where I basically learned how to work concrete and stuff like that. I always love build stuff that can stay there. And after that, seeing people enjoying it, we had people from all over the world you know, come and skate the place, like pros, the amateurs, and seeing them enjoying what you've built, it's uh, quite the feeling. So at one point I was like, man, that would be awesome to be able to build on my own land and you know do exactly what I want and not being restricted by you know the cities and stuff like that. I'm so stoked that I was able to like build something that like people enjoy. My goal is to develop that first little area and then once that one is like ready to go, I want to link it up so that we have different features. There may be a bank, curb, rail, something for everybody to skate. I got crazy dreams in my head, one step at a time and see where, it's, where it takes me. are uh, finally waking up. It's hot, humid, sticky. Sweating it all out right now. You get her? Check the ground. Oh. Oh, what the? Just got that's Yo, disgusting. That's... Yo. It's hot out here, baby. <laughs> Canada. Back in May, I started these skate sessions. I called it Girls, Gays, and Days. Basically, the concept was like creating a safe space for like girls, non binary, and like queer people just to come out and have a space for their own. Would you say the skate community is accepting? to everybody or is it intimidating to go to like a skate park? Like it depends on the skate park and the people and I guess also like your own mindset going about it. 
I remember when I started out in Baltimore, like the environment was intense, like the people were intense, and it's like not everyone has that amount of confidence to be like, I'm gonna overcome all these like all these obstructions just to start skating. I feel like my role with these sessions is kind of being available. What are you trying to learn? Like, do you want a few pointers? And also just like encouragement, you know? You got it. Like, failure is most of this, so don't don't feel weird about falling. Yeah, falling is my best skill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I saw in your flyer that you could exchange skateboards and you could also create art today. A lot of the stuff from these sessions are inspired by sessions that were organized like last summer by like Floor Gouye and Daisy's Angels. People would trade gear, like do some art, rib tape art and things of that sort. Wow, I just baby. wanted to bring some of that back. Everyone's an artist in some way or another. So all the trucks, the wheels is for people to bring and then give back to, to whoever comes here and needs a part, anything. I want to skate with other girls. Like I want to skate with other queer people. Like I just want to be in a space with people like myself and like socialize in that way. And create some opportunities. Like have skateboarding and art just like come together. I just want everyone to get into skateboarding. Thanks. Yeah. That was sick. All right. So we're at the infamous Big O in Montreal, this thing has been around since 1976. A few years back, they ended up moving at 100 feet and then donated to the skate community out here, which I think is pretty respect. I don't even know how you would move such a thing without it cracking or anything, but it's still here. skating every day all day Park in Montreal, next stop to the prairies. Get it. Next time on, steady push. All right, we just arrived in Winnipeg, uh. out in the prairies. I wish I could be doing that when I'm 45. Straight up. <laughs> <laughs> 